Hi everyone, um, my name is Saiful. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the introduction for our uh, events. Uh, so our group uh, choose uh, an event called uh, a team building event through an escape games. So what I can highlight from here is that I want to talk about the company, this specific company, which is we call as a distributor company. So this this distributor company, uh, from what I observe, they have a lack of communication skill between them, and uh, they didn't know each other very well. So that's why uh, we suggest an event, which want to increase their communications communication skills. Uh, interaction between them, uh, in a fun field way, in a fun field way, right? So okay. So our company is a distribu distribu uh, distributor company itself. So, from what I, for what we understand is distributor company is the company which has a about product transaction which uh, they serve as a third party or the middle person, which um, for the retailers and also the consumer, all right? So for what I know is uh, if the retailers have any products, so the distributor company will buy this product in a bulk way or in a uh, massive quantity and then they will sell they will sell it either to the retailers this product or to the consumer itself all right so for nowadays distributor companies have a growing demand because many company want uh, a middle person which want which can handle their uh, company uh to sell this product to the retailers and also the consumer so we can see from here the distributor 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 company is a very very busy company because they have to deal in with the consumer itself and also they have to deal in with the retailers itself so sometimes the communication between the colleagues didn't uh didn't have uh didn't didn't have uh, a lot of communication between them so that's why uh we organized this event which we call as a team building event through an escape game so our aim is actually our aim for this program is to uh to increase their communication skills between the colleagues and also we want to enhance their critical thinking and also their problem solving skills in a positive and enjoyable setting all right um so our program uh, we don't want our program to be like a type of lane program which is sit there and then have a uh, speakers to talk about or lecture to talk about the event so that's is kind of cliche events. So we want to make our event in a fun field, in in a fun environment, so that this distributor uh, staff, which uh, they are work in this uh, particular company, uh, can gain much of knowledge, can improve their skills, communication skills, uh in an enjoyable and fun way. Maybe we, uh, maybe before this, they didn't have any team building or didn't have any bonding session between them. So by this uh, event, they will have a bonding session between them. So at least they will have a good uh, environment in their workplace and also they have a communication skills. Uh, they can talk between them in a proper way. All right. 
So I'm going to pass this to the next uh, person, which is will a, the person will talk about a statement of me. So that's all for me. Bye. Hi, good day, sir. My name is Shanmigi Priya Malikam. My student ID is 01202007 So for the subject of English for Occupational Purposes, me and my team has created a business proposal uh, for the events. So our events is called Team Building Events Through Escape Games. And our main target for the event is actually distributor companies. Why distributor companies? Because the distributor companies operate in a very competitive market uh, range, right? Because of their rapid changes and evolving customer needs. So to adapt and to, to thrive in such environment, the workforce must be possess a very strong communication skills and enabling in seamless like uh, uh, coordinations, information exchange and collaboration across the di different departments and teams. So moreover, the ability, so the ability to have a critical and soft problem uh, thinking is a very, very uh, effectively need needed in this kind of integral, integral um, distributed companies uh, employees because they need to overcoming the upcoming so overcoming the future challenges and they need to seize all these oppor opportunities effectively so for this statement of needs um, I would like to explain for the the primary objective for this event is actually to create a environment conducive for the fostering teamwork, the collaborations among the colleagues. So throughout the participations in this challenging and accelerating escape games, uh, all the employees are very encouraged to communicate effectively, think uh, out of the box, and work together to solve these this complex problems through the escape games. So by engaging in these activities, not participants, uh, participants not only actually can develop their practical skills but also can strengthen their interpersonal relationships ultimately in contributing to the uh, more cohesive and productive working environment because uh, in distributed companies there will be different departments and teams right so why we go for this kind of very modernized escape games is actually because Traditionally, uh, sorry, traditional method of uh, games or trainings actually um, not only sufficient in cultivating this kind of skills. Actually, most of the time they will be often lacking the engagement and the excitements necessary to drive lasting behavior. Hence, the proposition of these escape games are as a vehicle for the team building. Uh, present a very refreshing, sorry, uh, to represent a very refreshing and effective uh, alternative way to increase their working lifestyle. So this kind of immersive experience, experience not only inject a very important element of fun and excitement, but also provide a very uh, good platform for employees to apply and to refine their communications, critical thinking and problem solving skills in order to stimulate their um, reality setting in the working environment. So this is my part for the business proposal, uh, sorry, business proposal for the statement of me. Uh, so this is my only my part. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good day, sir. My name is Pravin Ravindran and I will be presenting my part, which are goals or our vision to reach by this event. So what are our goals? Our first goal is to promote team bonding and cohesion. Escape rooms are more than just games. They teach teamwork and problem solving skills that are highly valuable in the workplace. In these rooms, players collaborate, think creatively and work together to solve puzzles. So these abilities are essential for overcoming challenges and finding innovative solutions in professional environments. Our second goal is to improve communication skills. Escape games create high pressure situations where participants must make quick decisions within 
time constraints. This experience teaches players to prioritize their tasks, evaluate options, and adjust strategies on the fly. These skills directly translate to improved decision-making abilities in real-world scenarios under stress. Our third goal is to encourage creative problem solving. Escape rooms demand creative problem solving as teams navigate through secret passageways, lock rooms, and also mysterious riddles. Success relies on collaborative thinking and unconventional solutions, skills that extend beyond gaming and prove invaluable in the workplace. Our fourth, our fourth goal is to boost decision-making skills. Escape games are like real-life puzzles. You and your team are in a high-pressure situation with a limited time. You have to make quick decisions, prioritize tasks, and adjust your strategies on the spot. It's like training for real-world challenges as well. Our last goal is to create a positive team atmosphere. Escape games infuse team building with adventure and excitement. Participants work together to unravel mysteries within immersive storylines, cultivating a positive team culture through shared victories, humor, and adventurous mindset. That concludes my part for the presentation. Thank you for your time and attention, sir. Hello, assalamualaikum, and very good evening to Sir Farish. So, I uh, introduce myself. Uh, my name is Mama Ismail Salim. So today, I will be I will be presenting for the fourth uh, part, which is for the description and details of Robo's event. So here, let's go. We go to the next page. So basically, description of our team. We have proposed this for this trip in the uh, accelerating team building challenge at Bomb Battle in Kuala Lumpur. So through diffusing bombs and overcoming obstacles, we hone communication, trust, and problem solving. This is really good for the team building. This unique experience not only strengthen our team bonds, but also sharpen our skills, leaving a lasting impact on our collaborative spirit and professional growth. So this is for the our committee uh committee members, which is for uh, we have the Shan uh Shanmu Gibria, uh Muhammad Nur Saifor Petri, Nur Hel uh, me, Mama Izad, Pravin, and Alex. So what the activity that we propose to the um team building that want to join our team building event, which is for we propose for the uh cracker cracker, uh decrypt it and laser mates. So this is uh, like the top three choice that we have made um, decisions that we want to involve in our plan to do this team building. This is really good for the team building to build up their uh, thinking skill, problem solving skills and communication, communication skills. This, this is really good. So this is our uh, itinerary. So this is the detail, not to details, but this is the cross of the our plan. So which is we will start uh, from nine until four, four thirty p.m. So we 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 will uh, start at nine arrival, and then we we do the icebreaker, then we start we start the part one uh, activities, which is combat activity and other other and closing ceremony and the. Uh, they were they can networking after four thirty. So this is uh that's all for my part, which is for the uh but uh for part uh the details of our proposed events. So I will I will uh I will pass this uh presentation to another presenter. All right, now let's move on to the budgeting table for our team building program. First, let's take a look at venue expenses. We have estimated the cost of ticket fees for 50 attendees at uh, RM40 uh, each. 
totaling 2,000 ringgit. Additionally, we will need to rent some equipment such as uh, speakers and microphones, which comes to a total of 100 ringgit. Going on uh, refreshment expenses, uh, we've budgeted for breakfast for attendees. The cost for food is estimated at uh, 10 ringgit per person, totaling 500. And drinks are estimated at 2 ringgit 50 cents uh, per person, totaling to 125 ringgit. Next, let us look at uh, promotion expenses. We have allocated the funds for two main items. Firstly, we have budgeted 2,800 ringgit for paid advertising over a two-week period to promote our team building program. Additionally, we have set aside 300 ringgit for special offers or giveaways, uh, such as uh, merchandise or hampers to attract participants to the event. Lastly, let's take a look at uh, miscellaneous expenses. We will need to provide main text for participants, at which will cost 10 ringgit each for 50 people, totaling uh, 500 ringgit. We will also print agendas of programs for event estimated at 5 ringgit per copy for 50 copies, totaling uh, 250 ringgit. And finally, we will need stationary items such as pen and pencil. Uh, which comes a total of uh, 50 ringgit. In summary, our total budget for the team building program amount to 6,625 ringgit. This includes expenses related to venue, refreshment, uh, promotion, and miscellaneous items. Assalamu alaikum and so my name is Laura. I'm going to present you about our benefits of our team building. Okay. So first point is collaboration. So uh, work team building foster collaboration and during tasks are completed efficiently and on time. So actually one of the great benefits of team building at work is that uh, the team members have the chance to focus on collaborating on the same activity and work towards a common goal. Okay, so as example, uh, collaboration is extremely important in the workplace uh, for getting a job done completely and on time, just like I mentioned on the First point. Okay, second point was communication. So uh, effective communication is vital in all relationships, uh, whether it's personal or professional. Okay. Uh, for example, so organization that invest in building better communication will have have uh, employees who trust each other, speak up when necessary, and are afraid to give and receive any feedback. Okay, the third point was motivation. So motivated, motivated employees who feel value and connected to their organization are more likely to perform well. Okay, sometimes they they always well. Sometimes we uh, sometimes well. Uh, some, sometimes when we go to work, we feel like we don't be don't feel value, but our organization right. Sometimes we are not happy. And sometimes, sometimes we don't feel connected to the company. So, um, increased motivation is one of the greatest uh, advantages of team building. Okay, in team building, we can increase the motivation, and people and the employees uh, will be excited about their job and feel valued by the organization. Are more likely to be uh, to be motivated to do their job. Okay, uh, the last one is uh, camaraderie. Camaraderie, uh, developing camaraderie within a team can present a challenge, but it is crucial for the team to success. Okay, the teams with camaraderie have a, a personal connection with each other, right? So they can uh, trust each other, communicate well and hang, hang out during lunch or break time and sometimes we also have uh, inside jokes with one and another okay all right uh, that's all from me thank you